what's up ladies welcome back to my channel as you can tell by the caption of the video today we're going to be doing a pixie crystal french tip look so before we hop into the tutorial make sure you comment like and subscribe and if you want to be notified every time i post a video so you don't miss anything click that bell and you will get a notification every time i post that way you don't ever miss a video so as you can tell i already have the nails prepped and everything so you know i did the cuticle work I applied the tips and did all my shaping and I of course laid my primer and my dehydrator. And so the first step here is to just get a larger bead of acrylic and place it and just begin to shape it how you want your tip, your French tip to look. Um, we're taking ours up a little higher on the side for the um, pixie crystals to go into. So I'm just starting by getting my brush and cleaning up the acrylic. As you can see, I'm starting from like the very top near the cuticle and just bringing the brush down, um, giving the acrylic a rounder shape and pretty much just working it to become a nice little oval type of look. Um, like I said, it really just depends on what look you're going for for your French tip. I know some people just like to have the whatever color you're using for your French tip just towards the bottom. Some people like to make it like a V cut. Some people don't like it to come up as high on the sides as others. So it really just depends on what you're going for, but you just really get your brush. And I think the easiest way to make it how you want it is to, like I said, start on the sides, like near the cuticles and wherever you want the color that you're using to start you just simply start by wiping away there and bringing it to the center of the rounded part on the acrylic if that makes sense so this step definitely takes some practice um i always say to use a drier bead not really more so dry but just don't make it too wet because it's just going to run all over and by the time you can even try to get it shaped how you want it to be it'll just be too thin or in places that you don't want it to be so um once you do it a few times you'll definitely get the hang of it but i'll just leave this video in um the time that it is and let you guys just watch it's not really much more i can do as far as explaining this step it's pretty simple it just takes some practice and as you've seen right here i did leave this part out um if you don't you don't always have to use just one bead like as you can see i used to be a bead to just mostly focus on shaping the um part where i'm going to be applying the pixie crystals like the french tip cut i guess you can call it but um i also had to go back in with another bead and place it near the cuticle area to build up that um, apex or you know foundation so it really just depends sometimes one bead works sometimes i need two I don't really remember a time I've ever had to use three, but you know, just take your time. You don't have to rush through it and just do what looks better for you. Not everything that I do will work the same for you. Like I said, you might only need one bead and it worked fine for you, but just, you know, you can look at your finger from different angles and just make sure everything's filled in how it should be. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to let you guys watch um, the rest of the fingers for this step. And then I'll come back in a little bit later to finish this tutorial. But before I go, I do want to say um, you can add acrylic in wherever you feel it's needed. Like as you've seen on this finger, I kind of needed some, I wiped too much away on the side. So I had to go back in and add some more, um, I believe. I don't know if I had it on camera or not, but yeah, you can add acrylic wherever you need. And then if you feel like it's too much, you can just take your brush and simply wipe it away. So don't feel like oh i took too much away i ruined this finger you know as long as you're working with a bead that's wet enough for you to you know play with it but not too dry then you'll be fine
So this is the finished look after applying the acrylic for the French tip process. Right now I'm just taking the file and going back in and kind of cleaning up the shape of the um, acrylic. This is the part I was telling you guys about earlier when I said to make sure that you use a large enough bead to make it more on the thicker side. As you can see it's thick enough that I can like go in and actually file it and make it a more precise shape if it's thin and not enough acrylic right there it really will be too hard to file and you'll just kind of be stuck with what you applied um, of course if that ever happens you can go back in and just add more acrylic but it's easier to just use a large enough bead the first time that way you don't have to worry about it later on So this is actually one of the easier steps. Um, it's really quick, really simple, and you don't even have to do this. I know sometimes people apply their bead to the point it's perfect, they feel like, and you don't even have to file it. I just do it just, you know, to make it a little bit more crisp as I do with regular filing. I feel like you can never be too precise with that. But so here I am just adding a very thin layer of clear acrylic. I'm not building up anything. I'm literally just putting a clear layer I'm sorry a thin layer down just so that part of the nail tip won't be like too flimsy so normally with regular French tip of course you would build it up to be you know pretty much even with the nude part of the acrylic that we applied I like I told you guys I never really know what to call that part of the French tip so um yeah anyways usually you would like build it up to be even but since I'm doing pixie crystals, which are, you know, more on the larger side, like I guess 3D, you can call it, it will kind of build it up on its own. But I still didn't just want to leave that tip bare because, you know, it is still a little flimsier. So the clear, the thin layer of the clear acrylic would just give it a little bit more of a base um, and make it not as weak. So this is completely optional. I just wanted to do it because I felt as if it would help the quality of the nails as far as how long they last and preventing breaking and stuff like that um so yeah totally optional we do not have to do this but it's just a quick simple step i recommend
so here I'm just going back in and cleaning up that shape um, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier I mean obviously we did more of like a tapered square um, I feel like when you're doing this design well actually with any French tip I'm kind of biased with about square because it just looks so clean and so classy like maybe that's just me but I love a square French tip especially like a nice clean tapered square but since we were doing like the pixie crystals on this one I told her that I definitely think tapered square was the best way to go um because again it just looks so much more clean in my opinion um not that it really matters you know any shape is good I just love I'm definitely a softie for the the squares for sure <laughs> but yeah just going back in and cleaning up the shape and you know nothing too major here ladies same steps as always nothing different so I will kind of add though you do want this step for this particular set to be really clean just because when you go to add the pixie crystals you don't want any of them like falling into any jagged edges or um you know just any imperfections that may be in your shape so i definitely just tried to make the shape really really clean on these ones um that way when i do add the crystals it'll show you know So here I'm just still going in like normal with my sanding band and cleaning up the cuticle, sealing it to help prevent lifting and get that retention rate to be nice and high. Um, also, this is an optional step. I was just doing it because I felt like it was a little needed. Um, as you see, I'm kind of like going around the edge of the acrylic. I'm just cleaning it up a little bit. Um, as I was filing down, it was kind of like nicking at it a little bit, kind of, you know, making it a little rugged so I just wanted to go back in and clean it up you don't have to do that um I think it was just how quick I was moving my hand down to the bottom the band was kind of like catching it but um and if you you know even if that doesn't happen you can still do this to try to like clean it up one more one last time um as you've seen I did it with the file but you know it doesn't hurt to do it again you don't have to completely optional I just felt like it was a little needed here in my case and as you can see, I'm not even going over the clear part, only because since we're doing pixie crystals, it's not like you really see it anyways. Of course, that's just my opinion. If this would have been like another color, I would have definitely have done it, but. So here I'm just going back over with my buffer to get those, um, any lines or scratches that may have been on there from using the e-file, the sanding bin. Um, I kind of took a little bit more time on doing this on the nude part, just because um it would have been very obvious once putting that next to the pixie crystals i feel like because you know those are just so nice and shiny and then you just have the nude so i feel like if there was any like scratches or anything on there you would have definitely been able to see them more easy so what i'm doing here is just taking my mccart i believe it's the brand rhinestone glue and i'm just like tracing over the clear part just putting a little layer over any of the clear um i probably should have did just a finger or two at a time um just because you know when i don't know how it is with anyone else that uses this rhinestone glue but when i use it sometimes the jewels may slide a little bit or start to move around which they did kind of do in this set but i just you know kept going back through with my fingers and patting them back into the spot they should have been so it wasn't really that big of a deal it wasn't that much of a hassle but you know if I only would have did one or two fingers it probably wouldn't have happened but you know no big deal at all and so I'm just going to go back in with my cleanup brush that you guys always see me use I'm going to start by dipping in acetone that way it can just be nice and fresh and clean and then drying it off and I'm just going to use that to like spread over the rhinestone glue a little more easy like more smoother um so the crystals will go on easier and it just won't look all bubbly or uneven or anything like that
So I'm just starting to apply the pixie crystals. I just used the empty um, acrylic container that I had to catch those because I had a really bad habit of just letting them fall and then I would just literally swipe them onto the floor and go about my day. But I noticed that that was literally using, well, wasting, I should say, so many of my pixie crystals. So I just decided to use a, just a clear little empty container jar to catch them in and um, I actually decided that I was just going to keep them in there for now that way you know for future reference I can just use a little scooper to apply them or whatever the case may be they won't be wasted it's, that's the important thing here so because I only put the rhinestone glue where the clear is when I pour these they will only stick to where the clear is so um, you don't really have to worry about it getting on to the nude part of of the nail and if it does since it's not like stuck in any glue or anything you can simply just I used my cleanup brush to kind of just move them off um, so it's not that big of a deal if don't panic or anything if it does go elsewhere it's since you're not putting it under the dryer yet they're not it's not like they're sealed and solid so um, after I did this step I just went back through which you'll see me do and kind of clean up the shape with my fingers just getting any of those pixie crystals that may have like fell off or slipped to the side or any excess glue that may have slipped over you know just cleaning up that shape putting it back to that nice square shape so as you see here I'm using my brush to kind of um, push the push some pixie crystals back in and I cleared some off of the nude part like I said it's no big deal it was so easy it took me literally a second to fix so don't panic if the pixie crystals go elsewhere super easy fix So after this is done, you're just going to put them under the UV lamp and let them dry for at least 60 seconds and you will come out with these. So I hope you ladies enjoyed that video. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, follow me on my Instagram, on my TikTok. And like I said, if there's ever any videos you guys want to see me do or try, comment down below. Make sure you turn on your post notifications also to see when I post next.